exciting. If you're new to this channel, hello and welcome and don't forget to press that subscribe button and the notification bell as I post videos about writing, writing process and all things writerly and bookish. And we're already 10 days into Christmas, so let's see what we've got on our advent calendar today. So, it's a little card and it says, and our little quote says, maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a storm, maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. And we all most likely know where that quote came from. And that's the Grinch. And so today, as you may have already guessed, because it is an old tag video, I've decided I'm going to do the Grinch book tag. Just because it seems like a lot of fun. Question number one. Half of the lights on the Christmas tree have burnt out. Name one book, character, or TV series that started off good, but then went downhill. That would have to be Once Upon a Time. Now, I'm not going to say it completely disappointed me, but it's definitely been one of my favourite TV series. The first season was a little bit off, then the second was my absolute favourite, and from there it was absolutely amazing. But then, then we got to the final season that they're currently airing right now. And I think my main issue with it is that Emma and half of the main characters just aren't around anymore. I've only watched about two episodes, so I guess I can't talk. But it really has disappointed me beyond compare. So it started off really well, but it went downhill from there. Well, I'm still going to watch some more episodes and then see where it goes from there. Annoying Great Aunt Sally who never left you alone. Name a book that you really didn't enjoy, but everyone else seemed to really enjoy it, but you just don't see the hype. I'm going to go with Divergent. I did enjoy the movie, so I know the entire year I've been going on about how I didn't enjoy movies more than books, but I finally realised, and it dawned on me like today, that... I enjoyed the movies of Divergent a lot more than I actually enjoyed the books because I tried reading the first book and I just stopped after that because... Ugh. Number three, your pets keep knocking over the Christmas decorations. Name a character that kept messing things up for everyone else. I think it was either in the third or the fourth Harry Potter book. My memory is not so great, but I do remember reading the books. I kind of feel like Ron sometimes messes things up for people. Like, he has a bunch of fights with Hermione that make no sense and he gets all grumpy and angry for no reason in those particular books. I haven't finished the series still, but, you know, he's a bit ridiculous sometimes. I know a lot of people love him, so please don't kill me. Number four, you hear your parents putting out all the presents and you learn Santa Claus isn't real. Name a book that you were spoiled for. Guys, come on, it's me. I pretty much spoil myself for every book in every series that ever exists. Doesn't matter if it's movies or books. That's just me. So I don't have a... I don't have a, a specific one. I can tell you the books that I didn't spoil myself for. I didn't spoil myself for The Shack, and I didn't spoil myself for Nevernight. And I haven't spoiled myself for Six of Crows, and I won't be spoiling myself for God's Grave, but hey, you never know what else might come around and I might just do it again. Number five, it's freezing cold outside. Name a character that you just couldn't connect with. These questions are proving to be quite difficult. I can't actually think about a character that I couldn't connect with. Number six. Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas is playing. And it's giving you anti-romantic feelings. Name a couple that you just didn't ship at all. Honestly, just refer to my previous answer. I don't know. I like most couples normally. So all I can think about is my Rippetal Shipper tag this year and some really absurd couples that never actually happened. And you can go check that video out. I'll link it up over there. Number seven, that scratchy homemade Christmas jumper that you got years ago for Christmas but you really couldn't get rid of. This one's kind of difficult. I think the 
Soul Screamers series. I have one of the books, the first one, and I just haven't really read it, and somehow I can't get rid of it either. It's Number eight. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. It must have been Rudolph, the rude reindeer. Name a character death you're still mad about. So it's in this book. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but I'm still super salty about that death that happened in Nevernight. I'm sure if you've read this book, you know exactly who I'm talking about. And if you don't, because I know there's a lot of deaths in that book, it's the one that felt most tragic, most annoying, most heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. I hope that's a hint. Still salty about it. Number nine. The malls are overcrowded with many people. Name a series that has too many books in it or went on for too long. So I was meant to read this series, well reread it this year, and then get through the rest of the books. But I don't even own all of them yet because there's so many of them. And that's the Shadowhunters series. Number 10, The Grinch. Name a main character that you absolutely hate. Whew. Hate's a big word, people. Even when you're talking about book characters. I don't like to carry that much negative energy around me. It's bad. But I can't help but bring up my favorite TV series that I was speaking about earlier. And that was Once Upon a Time. The minute I think about a main character that I can't stand, I think about Snow White. Now in the first couple of seasons, she's okay. And then you get to know her. And she annoys me. Anyways, that's it for now and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to answer some of these questions, please do in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big like, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.